Froggy the Gator and his dad did a lot of fun stuff together. If you listen to this show, you know that to be the case. They like to go on adventures together, they like to try new things and explore and build things, all of that good stuff. And one of the things they loved to do together was to tell stories. Storytelling is one of the most important skills you can learn, son, Daddy the Gator always said to Froggy. And Froggy never quite understood what that meant, but Daddy the Gator seemed to really believe it, so Froggy went along with it. And they told each other all kinds of stories, back and forth, all the time, to pass the time, and to do something more creative and fun than sit around watching TV, for example. And one particular story had become a recurring theme in their day-to-day life. What was it? Why, it was the story of the dragon outside. You see, one day Daddy the Gator and Froggy the Gator were playing outside at their house in the backyard. And there was a big gush of wind that rustled some trees, and Froggy looked over at the trees and saw the branches swaying back and forth. Hey, Dad, did you see that? Froggy asked. Those trees just blew back and forth in the wind. It looks like there's something out there in the woods, doesn't it? And Daddy the Gator squinted to see. Well, you know, son, that's right. It does look like something is back there. I wonder if... I wonder if... No, 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 it couldn't be. That's, that's way too far-fetched. Well, what, Dad? Froggy said. What do you mean? What's too far-fetched? Tell me. Well, Daddy the Gator said, a long time ago, this land was occupied by settlers from the old country. They came here in great big boats, and they built their homes into the wilderness. They built roads and shops and houses and government buildings, all of it, from scratch, where there was nothing before they built a town. And legend has it that when they got here, When this place was just woods and trees as far as the eye could see, right here in this very spot, the settlers encountered a wise and friendly ancient dragon. That's right. They were out here minding their own business, Daddy the Gator continued, planning what they were going to build, when just like we just saw, those trees over there moved. The branches rustled. And one of the brave settlers got curious. So he went over to the trees and shouted, Hello? Who's there? Who's there in those woods? And sure enough, just as he yelled to investigate who was making the noise in the woods, the trees pulled apart and out stepped the dragon. Oh my gosh, said the settler as he watched the dragon slowly walk toward him. The dragon was amazing. He was all red with big red scales all over his body but he had a blue fin going down his back, like a marlin fish or something, and blue spikes up his neck, reaching all the way up to his head. He had long teeth and big green eyes. He had huge wings, too, and he flew up into the air really quick to show off how good he was at flying before he landed back down right in front of the settler with a confident growl. My, said the settler, we never expected to see a dragon here. Can you speak? What's your name? The dragon proudly raised his head toward the sky. He was probably, like, 50 feet tall, Daddy the Gator said, and he let out a quiet roar before he lowered his head and spoke to the settler. I am Dracius, the dragon said, the guardian of this grove, and it is my sacred duty to guard this area and help all those who wish to make it their home by protecting them and by keeping them safe. Oh my, said the settler, well, that's very lucky, you see, because that's exactly why we're here. We've traveled many months and many thousands of miles to make a new home right here in this grove. We've been here for a few days now, and we're looking for proper places to set up our homes and set up our community. Perfect, said Dracius. I've been waiting for just such an arrival. Hop on my back, I'll give you an aerial tour, and I'll show you all the best places to settle. So the settler climbed on Dracius's back, and the two of them flew all over Gator Grove. They flew past Gator Grove Mountain, they flew past Gator Grove Lake, they even flew all the way to the seashore at Gator Grove Beach. 
Wow, said the settler after they'd been flying for a while. This is one of the most beautiful lands I've ever seen. You really have it all here. Yes, said Drekius, and it is perfect for settling by worthy people like you. So the dragon and the settler returned back to the other settlers and got to work. They started building roads, and Drekius helped by stomping on the ground and using his heavy weight to make the ground flat. They started building homes, and Drakius helped by using his huge claws to slice down trees for lumber. They started digging wells for water, and Drakius helped by using his powerful pointy tail like a drill and digging quickly down deep into the ground to find fresh water. And finally, they went looking for food, which Drakius helped cook by breathing his fire breath into a fire pit where they could grill their meats. What a wonderful friend you are, Drakius, said the settler. And from that day on, Daddy the Gator said, the wise dragon Drakius has remained in these woods, helping whoever lives here. Like us, Froggy the Gator said to his dad. That's right, son, just like us. And that's why when you see the trees behind our house shake like that, you can know that you're safe because you're home, and when you're home, you have Drakius the dragon looking out for you. But I, I can't see him, Dad, Froggy said. Will we ever get to see him? Well, said Daddy the Gator, you know, Drakius the dragon is pretty bashful. He's a really humble dragon, and he doesn't like to take a lot of credit for all of the hard work he does around here. So it's pretty rare that you'll actually see him but you know he's there. He's always there. And where does he sleep? Froggy the Gator asked his dad. And what does he eat? He sleeps outside, Daddy the Gator said, in a tree bed, of course. And he eats the same things we eat, just in much, much larger portions. And so ever since that day, Froggy the Gator and his dad talked frequently about Drakius the Dragon. They wondered aloud what he might be up to at any given moment. They imagined all of the adventures he must have been a part of during his long time living in Gator Grove. And Froggy the Gator always felt safe at home because he knew that no matter what, as long as he was home, Daddy the Gator and Drakius the Dragon as well, of course, always had his back. Thanks for listening, everybody. Quick announcement. In the show notes, the description to this show, you'll see a link to the Froggy the Gator YouTube channel. So if you want to listen to Froggy the Gator on YouTube, you just click that link, with your parents' permission, of course, and subscribe. And that'll help us, too, because it'll boost us in the algorithm and help share Froggy the Gator with more kids. So go ahead and click that link, and you can find even more Froggy the Gator on YouTube.